FC Barcelona footballer Dani Alves will remain in provisional detention while the inquiry into his rape case is ongoing. The judge in charge of the case said there are severe indications of criminality. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. The court in charge of the Alves case believed there is still a flight risk now that he's aware of the evidence against him. A DNA test recently confirmed traces of Alves' semen in the accuser's body and on clothes. The judge said the inquiry is progressing fast and pointed out that he could be sentenced to up to 12 years in prison. FC Barcelona president Joan Laporta will not step down despite mounting pressure over payments Barca made to a referee for almost 20 years. He said the club has outsourced an investigation into the events recently revealed. Que es una persona que en la seva trajectòria doncs ja ha mostrat el seu eh, antibarcelonisme, aquesta fòbia, aquesta obsessió que té amb el Barça. Catalan Research Centre, IRC Caixa, has coordinated a study that identified a third person in the world cured of HIV after a stem cell transplant. The government will spend 6.7 million euros in expanding housing grants for low-income under 36-year-olds in Catalonia. Only 3,600 people who applied last year were eligible but didn't receive it are entitled to it. Les xifres eh, ens, ens fan molt evident que, que la necessitat d'estar de, al costat dels joves per al manteniment del seu, del seu habitatge, eh, que moltes vegades han de compartir. International tech hubs have doubled in five years. They employ 15,000 people in Catalonia and have a combined turnover of 1.4 billion euros. Carnival finishes tomorrow when Ash Wednesday gives way to Lent. And today, traditional community meals, the Festas del Rancho, were held in some inland towns.